What is up? I am on my way home from work. Uh, I'm actually feeling really, um, I don't know, energized right now. Um, energetic. Uh, I'm, uh, I don't feel like total crap uh, like I did yesterday. Um, after chemo today, which was day five, I uh, went to Panda Express and got their super greens and broccoli and beef and their mushroom and mushroom chicken and I had all of it I ate all of it and it went all bye-bye it's all still in my tummy and it stayed down I even put some soy sauce on it I had a side of spring rolls uh, with some sweet and sour sauce really really good lunch now my stomach is killing me it hurts my head hurts like where, around my chemo port kind of hurts a little bit too but I mean overall I'm just kind of sort of gassy and constipated and that's pretty much it like I just burped but I did just kind of drink a Sprite because Sprite helps settle my stomach or a Sprite however you folks say it I can't stop burping uh, I've decided that I can't do the gingerade kombucha like I wanted to which is unfortunate because I really do like kombucha and I know I need the probiotics right now uh, for my uh, my gut biome. It's all sorts of jacked up. I know it is. Um, so that totally sucks, but what can you do? Um, I haven't lost any hair yet. Um, I'm sure that'll start happening soon. It does seem like it's getting grayer here on the sides. Maybe I'm just stressing out over all this crap that's going on in my life. I, I don't really know. Um, yeah, so I'm leaving work. Uh, so uh, I got to got to work today after chemo and um, I take pictures uh, and I write stories uh, for the Air Force on uh, Travis Air Force Base and uh, today I got to uh, retouch some photos for a co-worker and then uh, edit their captions and that was pretty much the gist of my afternoon after work this morning couldn't get on the computer I don't know what happened my um, card reader is busted Ooh, speaking of which I hope I remember to grab my card otherwise I'll be locked out all right no I did I got it I got my ID card good to go Woo! stressed out there for a second and so anyways um yeah so rambling rambling uh, yeah so I did some work did some work uh, this morning tried to anyways didn't really work out okay so then I go over and so we're split up into three offices because um, Way back in the day, whenever I joined in 2004, um, the photo lab was part of the communication squadron, uh, which made time to, made sense at the time to somebody at the time, whatever. Then it made more sense to have the photographers work with the the, the writers and and such. So they merged the offices, so the photo would be under public affairs. Well, back in 2005, whenever this happened for the rest of the Air Force, um, Travis Air Force Base kept their offices split. Uh, so I currently work in the communication squadron building, but it's the photo lab. So, you know, things are just a little different and weird. So I, I, I had to go make FaceTime with my other coworkers that aren't a part of that office because we have three different locations. So. I always make it a point to go and see my coworkers because it's nice to see your coworkers, to see how they're doing, see how their week went, blah, 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 blah. So we go over there today and um, turns out, looks like uh, the schools are closed for two weeks. So they're gonna close down the base mission, assist, mission essential personnel only as well for the next two weeks. So that really helps me a lot, but it also hurts me because I'm gonna be so bored because I don't start my next grad school class until the 23rd. So, crud. What am I gonna do for the next two weeks at home? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a Lego. I have a Lego city and I can't wait. Um, I've got a building I've gotta redo uh, and I gotta do a video on that, so that'll be fun. Yeah, so, I don't know. I 
I felt a lot worse earlier in the week, or maybe my body's just getting used to it, but it feels like, it feels like I'm not doing that bad. Like it, um, it's like my, the, the chemo fog, the, the fog, it's, it's kind of like I had, I've, I've drank too much Benadryl. I do feel kind of high. That's what it feels like this second. Um, it didn't feel like this yesterday. Yesterday I felt like crap, like awful crap. Uh, today I do feel like crap, but not as bad as yesterday. I just have a little bit of a headache. My stomach is achy, um, like really yucky achy. I haven't gone to the bathroom all week, number dose, so I don't know. Uh, the coronavirus is like out and about and doing its thing, so that's crazy that this is happening right now. I mean, we are a part of history right now, you folks. This is really happening. How crazy is it that it's really happening? And we're doing it live. <laughs> All right, I will probably not do a video later tonight. I probably will. 50-50 chance. If I don't, then I will see y'all uh, the next time I feel like diarying, doing a diary about my chemo stuff. But yeah, it was super weird. Today there was literally like me and one other person. Um, and that was it for the whole day. The nurses were, I felt bad for them that they had to come in for today for just two of us when we probably could have been fine just not doing it or you know it could have been could have happened another day or something i don't know all right uh speaking of which if i forget nurses week is the second week of may and that is my last week of chemo so y'all gotta remind me to get them some cupcakes or some cheesecake or something delicious for how grateful I am for all of them. So, yeah. And you should get that for all your nurses too. The nurses are in your life because nurses are awesome. They're the best. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Um, you don't have to share them or anything. Like you don't even have to like them or subscribe. This is just kind of like a diary during my chemo process. So yeah. If you know someone that's going to go through chemo uh, and they had testicular cancer and it spread throughout their chest and, and whatnot, these might be okay to share with them, but I wouldn't share them with your kids or anything. That's kind of weird. I would just make sure your kids are checking their stuff and, you know, stay cancer free. All right. And I know some of you guys have had, your kids have had cancer and... You've already lived through this, so you're sitting here watching this and thinking, oh man, I remember those times, and it's cool. Thanks for being here for me. I appreciate it. Well, hello. It is Saturday night. I uh, did not post my diary um, yesterday. Long story, but uh, I was feeling really better than I thought I was feeling. And then I uh, got home and ate dinner, FaceTime with my daughter. I had some ice cream during that FaceTime call. And then I uh, got off the phone with my daughter and I just passed out. Um, I don't know what hit me. It just, I just, just passed out. Um, woke up this morning extremely nauseous and exhausted. Took some nausea med medication, uh, could not eat breakfast. Uh, I had some broth for lunch and I had some broth for dinner. Yummy. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Um, but I just can't, I can't stomach anything. I just, I don't know what it is. Um, just thinking of it right now just makes me queasy. Um, uh, I just took a shower. Still got my hair. So, you know, we're a weekend and still have my hair. So that's a, it's a start. Um, I am down to a pretty low weight of 190 though, and that's pretty, um, 
alarming. So I've got to figure out how to get some nutrition in tomorrow for sure. Um, uh, everything smells awful. Like I, I'm a very clean person, but I, my sense of smell has so heightened. It's not even funny. Um, like I have this, this couch over here, this blue couch of mine. It's a high to bed. I've been laying on it all day. Um, and drinking water all day. And, uh, there's just something about whenever you lay down on it, there's like the dust or something that comes out that I can smell now that I've never smelled before. Uh, so I got some, uh, lavender Febreze stuff and I've been, I've been using it all day. You can tell I'm still super gassy. I don't understand it at all. Um, I got some chemo socks today in the mail because I was complaining about having cold feet. Thank you, Nicole. That was so sweet and so kind. And Team Nick, wow. Seriously, mad love. Thank you so much. I can't wait to wear them. <laughs> uh, I tried to start a puzzle, but realized I couldn't focus on it. Um, yeah. Try to build on some of my Lego sets, but couldn't focus on that either. <sighs> I'm just tired. Yeah, so I'm not going to try to do anything except for just relax. I'm going to turn on, uh, finish this episode of, of uh, Triple D, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. <laughs> so silly um and i hope you all are having a wonderful coronavirus weekend or corona free virus weekend <laughs> oh yeah did i talk about that yesterday because i didn't post the video last night in my diary from yesterday but uh i th think uh, my boss sent a message to everybody last night saying that we are no, wait, sent a message saying, I don't know how to word this correctly. My boss sent a message to everybody saying that only mission essential personnel are going in on Monday, starting Monday. So I think we're down for the next two weeks. So that's really good for me. Um, because now I don't have to go out to work and deal with possibly getting sick during this chemo stuff. So that, that's a good thing. Um, bad thing is I'm gonna be really bored because I'm super depressed. So I'm having a really hard time, like enjoying things right now. So there's that. I don't like that. So yeah. All right. Well, I love your faces. Thanks for Thanks for all your support. Um, yeah. I'll see y'all maybe on Sunday uh, if I'm feeling anything. Uh, if not, then I probably won't post a video for a few days just because I'm not in chemo. And I mean, I might post an update if I start losing my hair but or build a sick Lego, but I probably won't do that. So, all right. Good night.